Hello, today we are going to learn how to make vegan milk. So we're going to use a type of nut. So let's see the ingredients and the way to do it. So for the cashew milk that I'm going to do, this is how we're going to do it. I'm using cashew nuts, it's a type of nut, um, Brazilian nuts, a large size. It's very, very nutritious, has a lot of uh, nutritional value. It's very, very similar to the regular milk. We can use these nuts or we can use another ones like walnuts, these ones here. So for, th so for the walnuts, make sure it's peeled. All we do is soak it in water for about an hour and then peel it quickly with your hands. It comes right off. And then follow the same steps that I will do with the cashew. So that's any type of milk. You can change the type of nuts and it would get the same results. So for this one, it's two-thirds of a uh, cup of cashews. If you're looking for the weight, it's about 160 grams. So first, we are going to soak it in water for about 8 hours or 12, 12 hours or 8. I've already soaked these ones for 12 hours. And these are other ones that I'm soaking. So it's, make sure it's covered with water. And then while we're blending, we're going to add 3 cups of water. This is 2 cups. I'm still going to add another one. And we're also going to add syrup for some sweetness so it's a little bit uh, thick as well. So any type of syrup is good. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use. If you can't find syrup or that you don't have any, you could also use uh, honey. Same purpose, it's, it's the same thing. So here I have my strainer. I have four layers of gauze, a strainer, and my bowl. So this is so it's smooth and to make sure everything is, is just straight milk. Okay, and this is the bottle that I'm going to use to store it in the fridge. And it doesn't take any, it, it doesn't take very long to do. And it lasts about four days in the fridge for you. So now let's see how we're going to blend the ingredients. So here I've uh, strained the cashews from the water, they've been strained. And then I'm going to add them into my blender. And I'm going to put two teaspoons of syrup. Very small, not a lot, as you can see. That's good. And then I'm going to add some water, just a little bit to start. Make sure you cover the all the cashews. That's all for now. We're going to add the rest later. And then I'm going to start blending it on high speed. Like this. I didn't add all the water at once because if I added all the water at once, it's not going to blend properly and I'm going to have pieces floating. So make sure you add just a little bit of water first, make sure it's well blended, and then you can continue to add the three cups. So as you can see here, I feel like this is good enough, and then I can continue adding the water. While it's blending, I'm going to add the water. So I'm going to start the blender again, and then I'm going to add the water. Like that. Now we're trying to get it into a smooth consistency. Make sure everything is blended and there's no pieces floating or anything. There we go. So nothing is floating. It's You can tell that it's well blended and the top is very smooth. So now I'm going to start straining it. Some people don't like straining it. They like the, the uh, thickness. But I'm going to strain it to show you how if you wish. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to start straining it. So I'm pouring it into my strainer now. And then I'm going to squeeze the rest out like that. And see how very, very smooth and liquidy it is. I've strained everything out. There wasn't much in it, but it's all exactly like regular milk. And as you can see, this is how much it makes. It's about three, three cups of water and two thirds cashews. You can store it in the fridge. It could stay about three or four days. 
and make sure every time you use it you shake it well because it sets a little bit and you can add more um, syrup to it when you're drinking it if you want it a little bit sweet or honey or sugar whatever you want and this for this milk I can also use it to make um, cashew uh, sorry mozzarella cheese because it's uh, vegan so I could use it for vegan cheese and it doesn't have a strong taste so it could be used to make different cheese so hopefully you can try this and enjoy thank you bye